30 years of Radio Ara. 30 years is a milestone in any existence, but in the life of a community radio station, it's something very rare indeed. Radio Ara's journey towards 30 is one with many twists and turns, and definitely bumps in the road. Yet somehow we remain on air, entertaining with an eclectic mix of music and cultural shows and doing things just that little bit differently from the rest. In a country whose motto is, we just want to stay as we are, our doors remain open to volunteers, old or new. Already in 1981, a group of Luxembourgish radio enthusiasts began broadcasting on Atelier Radio Arlon in Belgium. Eventually, in 1986, the group moved across the border to set up their own radio station in Luxembourg, and Radau was born. In 1991, a new media law was published, however, pirate radio stations were to be shut down and not granted a license. As a response, in 92, the Alta Echo Saal was founded in line with the requirements of the new media law. Its goal was a station geared towards programme diversity. Radau became Radio Ara. Ara stands for Atelier Radio Alta Echos and is also a nod to Arlong. Around the studio you will see a number of Ara parrots. These remain to this day a nod to the pirate station status of the past. The very first broadcast on Radio Ara took place on December 6, 1992 and the early years of Radio Ara was characterised by an enthusiastic optimistic atmosphere. The motto was, everything is possible. However, financial difficulties always have a negative effect and cracks began to show. In this difficult phase, some original volunteers switched from Radio Ara to radios where they were paid, while at Ara, a membership fee was required. The financial woes of Ara were resolved somewhat in 2000 by the introduction of a more commercial structure for the English programmes at Ara City Radio. Graffiti, the youth programme on Radio Ara, became more integrated and coordinated when they signed a convention with the Family Minister in 2004, thus allowing social workers and educators to develop a programme specifically aimed at young people. In 2008, the live studio was renovated, but with a financial crisis, again the situation was challenging. But the organisation remained, often with twists and turns like the unexpected and unscheduled frequency change or the exhausting move to the retente. But who remembers that now? The pandemic of 2020 saw the radio come into its own as it kept listeners entertained and informed in many different languages, yet at the same time it was crumbling under the loss of all commercial advertising. Crowdfunding action saved the station and political lobbying secured some financing for the next years. And new multilingual community shows were added as well as social projects initiated. The Year of Culture at ESH 2022 saw 100 days of radio art when an additional antenna was installed in the south.
There are no doubt many challenges ahead and new hurdles to surpass, but for one evening, big, diverse, intercultural, intergenerational group came together to celebrate 30 years of the best little radio station in the Berg. Radio Aura, the radio for all voices. Many cultures, many languages, but one place. Radio Aura, the radio for all voices. Find us at 102.9, 105.2 and 87.8 FM.